Here in this video I am going to discuss uh, You have uh, seen the title of the video which is Timeless Journeys So before that I should uh, explain something about proper time If you have studied special theory of relativity then you have seen that due to relative velocities there is the difference in time measured by the observer as well as by the traveler both the times are different okay say one person is sitting on the earth and suppose that he is the observer that man is the observer sitting on the planet earth and another man is traveling in the space with the help of a spacecraft or spaceship okay so the time measured by the observer and the time measured by that traveler are different. How this comparison can be made? Suppose at the very beginning of the journey, both the persons were sitting on the planet Earth at the same place. Say the starting point is point A, right? Capital A. Point A is the starting point. Both the persons, observer as well as the traveler, both were sitting on the planet Earth at the same place. And they now synchronized, just you assume, they have now synchronized their clocks. Both are having clocks with them, okay, separate clocks. Now the person, one person remains on the planet Earth at the same place. Another person uh, starts his journey in the, uh, in the space with his own clock. Now after some time, so after some time means, you can assume any time, uh, say for example, only one week, seven days, okay? Seven days with respect to planet Earth, okay? Means the observer who is sitting on the planet Earth, I am talking about, uh, I am taking the reference of that person who is sitting on the planet Earth. With respect to that person, suppose, only 7 days, that means 7 into 24 hours multiplied by 60 minutes, multiplied by 60 seconds that much time has elapsed on the planet Earth okay and after that time, means after 7 days time the traveler has come back to the planet Earth has come back to the planet Earth and met with the person, met with the observer sitting on the planet Earth. And if now they check their own clocks, then there will be a difference in time. On the planet Earth, how much time was elapsed? It was only seven days. And in terms of second, I have told you. You can easily calculate how much second will be there. And uh, the time elapsed for the traveler according to his own clock that will be different and that will be less. And this thing we, are, we have got using special theory of relativity, not only theory, practically we have got the same thing. Yes, experimental verifications have already been done so many times by so many physicists all over the world. Okay. So, question is what is the proper time? The time measured by the observer. Uh, not observer, sorry, sorry. Time measured by the traveler, by his own clock. The clock was kept with him when he was traveling to the space. Okay, the clock was kept with him. According to that clock, whatever time was measured is called proper time in physics. Yes, this phrase is used in physics. Okay. What is the name? Name is proper time. This time is also called own time. O W N own. This time is also known as own time. And these two times are different. This proper time does not depend upon only the endpoints. For our thought experiment, wow. <clears throat> what are the endpoints? You can uh, you can easily see the endpoints are same. The starting point and the endpoint were same. So, endpoints were fixed, still there was a difference in time. 
so you can easily conclude that only on endpoints the proper time does not depend actually proper time depend proper time depends on path followed by the traveler okay proper time always depends upon path followed by the traveler not only on the end points if paths are different then measurement of proper time will be different and that measurement must be made by the clock which was which is kept with the traveler and that time is different from other persons or from other reference planes okay so and you know that if this speed or the velocity of the traveler is much then time will be slowed down more okay and if the traveler though theoretically it is uh, at present theoretically it is impossible but you just assume that uh, you just imagine that uh, the traveler reaches to the speed of light itself so in that case time elapsed or time dilation will be infinite that means no time will be required for the traveler to move from one point to another in the universe whatever be the distance between the two points it is irrespective of the distance between the two points if the traveler moves with the speed of light itself which is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second which is known as the maximum velocity maximum speed okay maximum possible speed anyway so main topic was what uh, proper time or own time and uh, in the thumbnail of this video or in the title you have seen uh, it is written as uh, what is written there timeless journeys yes timeless journeys are possible only if you are moving with the speed of light itself otherwise some non zero time means positive time or some time is required whatever be the speed if it is below the speed of the light then some time is required to move from one point to another okay so this was all about uh, today's lecture timeless journeys okay so this is the end of this video thank you thank you for watching this video